Good evening, friends. Good afternoon, good morning, whenever you're watching this. Just adjust my hair. How is everybody? Uh, the Lion's Gate portal activation was awesome last night. I know I'm feeling refreshed. They, the activations and the healing circles are always great. I always feel better after as well. So it's not just you, it's everybody. Um, energies have been chaotic awesomeness. I'm just gonna readjust because my cat's coming over. <laughs> you can probably hear. Hello, Wills. Yeah, I was going to talk today about the third hermetic principle as I'm going through the hermetic principles. And the third hermetic principle is the law of vibration. Everything vibrates. This is what the law of attraction community is all based upon. Vibration or frequency. And it's not so much about a radio frequency. Everything is vibration. Everything, like even the most solid things around you, like a car or a table, those tiny particles vibrate. This is physics as it, you know, nothing ever rests. And when we increase our vibratory rate, we're releasing density. As you know, like a table, you're not going to physically see it vibrate. Whereas a light ray, you can see it's like less dense. You know, it's that, that frequency difference between the two. So when we look at that, we realize we are all still connected. All these hermetic principles and laws of the universe come together. You know, the first one being everything is mental. Our mind is vibratory rate, like our thoughts vibrate, our voice vibrates, the music I know I play vibrates. Everything is vibration. The second hermetic principle is as above, so below, as within, so without. So it's that law of correspondence between two things. And as we know, what creates a correspondence? Vibration. So remember that. Your thoughts create those vibrations your roots create those vibrations so be very mindful of what's coming out of you you know not just physically verbally through your voice but those thoughts going on in your head i spoke in the activation last night about opening our hearts up it is so imperative to have heart mind coherence and pairing the heart and the third eye the mind the imagination whatever you want to call it because with that we lead through love and compassion and non-judgment and we realize when we stop judging ourselves we stop worrying about judgment because judgment doesn't matter to us anymore and when we don't resonate in a vibratory rate of judgment we emanate more light we emanate more compassion unconditional love our heart chakra opens up vibrates higher and we create a larger torus field which is our magnetic pull it's all science. It's all science, folks. It's very pragmatic. If you really look at it from a scientific perspective, the laws, the hermetic principles are very scientifically based in a quantum physics kind of way. And I love them. They were one of the first principles that I learned when I was studying and learning the laws of the universe. I really enjoyed them. That and the Tao Te Ching. That's an amazing book too by Lao Tzu. Just amazing ancient wisdom you know that was around before the times of christ and christ consciousness you know christ consciousness is a vibratory rate it's an awareness that everything just is and no judgment is needed and that's what i wanted to share i sort of went off on a tangent there but that's my take on the third hermetic principle the law of vibration all coming back to the law of one you know every droplet of water in an ocean vibrates and one alone doesn't do much but when you have that whole ocean moving together you have an enormous amount of energy happening so remember that one tiny thought is all you need that one droplet that one seed planted and feed it and allow it to grow and become more and more in tune with your vibratory rate understand that you are the only creator in your universe and you are amazing. You don't need anybody to tell you what to do. You maybe need somebody to help you along the way once in a while and hold your hand or kick your butt because you don't see what's keeping you from your highest potential. But sooner or later, you will get into a groove and you know when you need to kick your own butt. I need to kick my own butt sometimes. The thoughts come up, those limiting beliefs, those fears come up. Fear is an illusion. Fear is a vibration that none of us need to carry anymore 
Go into your subconscious and rewrite that fear. And try something that scares you every day, whether it's little or big. Just do something different out of your norm. Anyway, I love you. I gotta go jam, band practice, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. And keep an eye out for the next healing circle. We have a full moon this week, so I won't be hosting a healing circle because it's on Thursday, and Thursday is my big band practice night, so I can't commit to anything on Thursdays. But I will be hosting a new moon healing circle in a couple of weeks, so keep an eye open for that. I love you. Peace out.